Consolidation of, uh, consolidation of water supply, Deputy Shane Ross, has four minutes to make an initial statement. Thank you, Lascan Cola. Uh, the Minister will be aware of the controversy which has surrounded the injection of fluoride into our water, which has been heating up recently. <coughs> and I'd like to draw his attention, first of all, to a hot press expose, the magazine with which I'm sure he's familiar. I have it here. I can give it to him afterwards if he likes. Uh, which talks about the fluoridization of <coughs> our water in, ex in an interview. I think might need some water, Deputy. Sorry, I'd like some. <laughs> very, just like some mineral water, please. Bottled water, if possible. Uh, thank you very much. <coughs> There's poison in this one. There's poison in this one, Minister. I hope it doesn't come from here. But the, the, um, the serious issue was addressed in an interview with a uh, Declan War, who's a well-known scientist, in this hot press interview, in which he draws attention to some of the more startling facts about fluoridization of water. I, I don't know whether the minister's aware or anybody else that is aware, that we're the only country in Europe which continues with this activity, which started in the 1960s, uh, about 50 years ago, in an effort to uh, increase the strength and the cleanliness and the health of citizens' teeth. But the facts as have emerged and have emerged in this hot press interview and elsewhere are quite staggering. Fluor fluoride is a, an industrial waste chemical. And it is quite alarming to realize that we in Ireland have one of the highest cancer uh, rates in Europe. We have one of the highest rates of cardiovascular disease and, and probably the highest diabetes rate. And what we need, because of the obvious connection and I'll try and bring this to the Minister's attention and trace it, is an independent Irish inquiry into whether this fluoridization is actually causing the high rates of cancer, the high rates of cardiovascular disease, and the high rates of diabetes. And there's evidence, not just from Mr. Declan War's interview, but from a lot of overseas and distinguished investigations, that this does happen, uh, the fluoride is the cause of these diseases in many cases. There was a, uh, a very pertinent report carried out in the United States by people known as the National Research Council in 2006, which found that fluoride reduces uh, the body's ability to produce insulin, which is obviously a serious situation when you come to consider diabetes. It also find, found that the connection between fluoride and neurological diseases was very sinister as well. And when we compare, maybe to bring it closer to home, the incidence of these diseases with Northern Ireland, which is not fluoridated, I think we get a very, very stark comparison. Four and a half times, uh, <coughs> four, we are four and a half times more likely to suffer from dementia if we're between 39 and 59 in the Republic of Ireland than they are in Northern Ireland. We are twice as likely to suffer from diabetes. And indeed, the only country in Europe, and we're twice as likely to suffer, to come across incidents of Down syndrome. Indeed, the only country in Europe, I think, which has a higher rate of cardiovascular disease is Kyrgyzstan where fluoridization is just as rife as it is in the Republic of Ireland. In Harvard, they've also detected, in very many studies, they've also dis detected that neuro neurological diseases are, are also connected to fluoridization. You have to conclude your remarks shortly, Deputy, I'm afraid. Yeah. You have, let two, me, let, you, have, you have two minutes extra. Let me just, let me just, I'm just concluding my remarks. Let me just point out, one example uh, in Ireland, which I think emphasizes and illustrates this point. In West Cork, where West Cork has the highest rate of cardiovascular disease in Ireland. Ireland has the highest rate of cardiovascular disease in Europe. In West Cork, there is very, very little calcium in the water, the lowest rate in Ireland. That means the water is soft water. 
And there is that, the result of that is that there is three times more, uh, more fluoride in the bloodstreams of the citizens of West Cork. And it's no coincidence that the incidence of these diseases occurs worst, is the worst area in Europe, is in West Cork. Thanks. Jörg and Tara. Thank you. Four minutes Last, uh, I thank um, Deputy Ross for raising this issue and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to address it um, as a serious issue and I'll come if, uh, when I have an opportunity to respond to some of the specific points that the Deputy raises but may I just by way of introduction first of all remind the House that water fluoridation and the use of appropriate fluorides are a major plank of public health policy in Ireland in the prevention and management of tooth decay. Fluoride at the optimal level in the water supply provides a constant repair kit, as it's uh, known, for teeth, making teeth more resistant to decay in people of all ages. Fluoridation began in Ireland in 1964 on foot of the Health Fluoridation of Water Supplies Act 1960. The local authorities act as agents for the health authorities in fluoridating the water supplies. The Forum on Fluoridation published a report in 2002 following its major expert review of the policy of fluoridation in this country. Its main conclusions were that the fluoridation of public piped water supplies should continue as a public health measure, that the optimal level of fluoride in water should be reduced to between 0.6 and 0.8 parts per million, and that an expert body on fluorides in health should be established. The main function of the expert body on fluorides in health is to provide impartial and evidence-based advice to the Minister and to evaluate ongoing research in all aspects of fluoride. The expert body only considers scientific evidence, I want to emphasise this, scientific evidence that has been peer-reviewed and approved for publication in recognised scientific journals, and that is the standard approach taken in any uh, aspect of public health where scientific evidence is required to underpin public policy. The expert body is satisfied, having studied current peer-reviewed scientific evidence worldwide, that water fluoridation at the optimal level does not cause any ill effects and continues to be safe and effective in improving the oral health of all age groups. These views are supported by reputable international agencies and valid scientific articles and reviews. I am aware that some consumers express concerns about potential negative effects on health of drinking fluoridated water or on the composition and source of fluoride or on the fact that other countries, some other countries, don't fluoridate their water supplies. All the evidence is, last uh, Corla, that drinking fluoridated water with the optimal amount of fluoride is not harmful to public health, human health. And I want to emphasize, firstly, the only known side effect of optimal water fluoridation is mild dental fluorosis, which is not considered to be an adverse health effect. The fluoride added to our water supplies is in the form of uh, hydrofluosilicic acid and is in compliance with the specifications for that substance set out in the 2007 regulations. The procedures for the fluoridation of water supplies to the prescribed standards and to minimise the risk of injury or damage to plant personnel and environment are set out in a code of practice. Water to which fluoride is added is tested daily by the local authorities and monthly by the HSE and the Environmental Protection Agency. As an alternative to water fluoridation, other countries choose salt fluoridation or milk fluoridation or they invest in large public dental services. Surveys on children's and adults' oral health conducted to date showed a substantial benefit in terms of the reduction in tooth decay experience. Irish children and adolescents have a high frequency consumption of sweets and confectionery, as well as generally poor teeth brushing habits compared to their European counterparts. Accordingly, the use of fluoridated toothpaste alone is insufficient to prevent tooth decay. I want to say um, to, to the Deputy in the House that I accept that this is a serious issue and people are absolutely entitled to raise this issue and to raise the matter for debate in this House as indeed was raised recently in the Upper House. But the important, uh, I think as legislators, I'm, I'm not a scientist. Uh, I can't make a judgment, a scientific judgment, on the basis of uh, the, uh, uh, any particular scientific knowledge that, that I have. Uh, Deputy Ross is an expert on many things, but I don't think he's a scientist either. So we have to rely on the evidence that's brought forward in an independent fashion and that is examined and scrutinized by the expert body that we put in place to do this work. And any reasonable assessment, I say this to the deputy because I have no difficulty, these issues of course are matters of public concern when they're raised, but if the deputy has a look at the evidence and at the material that's available from the expert body, you will see, as I have seen, because I have looked at this closely, that the preponderance of the evidence, the absolute preponderance of the evidence, 
is in favour of the continuation of this policy. Yes, there are, study, there are studies occasionally produced which would tend to push you in the other way. If you only read those studies, if you only read those studies, but when you have to balance the concern for public health and you are responsible for public health, as we are in the government and, and I would suggest also all of us are in the parliament and in the Oireachtas have a concern for public health, it behoves us to look not just at one study, not just at one study, but to look at what is the preponderance of the evidence and what does it tell you when you sit down in a reasonable, balanced way and look at the reports and look at what the expert body has done. I invite the deputy or anyone else in this house to look at their website, look at the, the evidence that's set out there, the, the uh, evidence that's peer-reviewed, as I've said, that's not drawn just from one source, that's not drawn from one campaign or otherwise, but is there for all to see and is annotated and is very clearly available. Have a look at that evidence. I've done that um, at Cahirly, and the department does that and is required to do it, not just once, but to keep that under review constantly over the, over the years um, uh, in, in terms of the implementation of this public policy. And I think it's absolutely clear, if you sit down and look at the material, that you will see that where the preponderance of the evidence lies. Thank the Minister for his reply. Um, and he's quite right, I'm not a scientist, and I had as much difficulty with some of the technical phrases as he had in the, uh, in the responses which I've given. Uh, I, and I accept fully that there are different scientific views on this. Um, what I do, what I am impressed with, is the fact that we're the only country in Europe that feels that it is necessary now to do this to our water, that other countries in Europe have decided that it is damaging. This, these include Finland, where in one area of Finland, they actually took the fluoride out of the water. And the minister, I'm open to correction, but I, I'm doing this from memory. But I think uh, immediately uh, the diseases to which I referred fell within three months. Now, this is, it is not uh, the ultimate forensic proof for which we are looking, but the coincidence of statistics and the way they have been changing and the way they change when fluoride is in the water and it's out of the water, make it look very like a duck to me. And to say that the connection isn't proven is a bit like saying uh, cigarettes don't cause cancer. Because if the statistics are there, and if it goes up, when, if cardiovascular disease and cancer go up when fluoride is in the water, I go down when it's not, it's exactly a parallel to saying tobacco, uh, tobacco this is the, 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 when, you're, when you're smoking, if you, you get cancer, and if you don't, you don't, but it's no proof that tobacco causes it. The parallels are there, the statistics are there. The statistics and the stark example, which I pointed out, but the difference between Northern Ireland and the Republic are very, are very, very worrying and very significant. Uh, and I'm not referring specifically to this. This hot press interview, by the way, is based on a multiple number of, um, of independent inquiries. Uh, including the United States, not in Ireland. And it's based on the fact that, uh, on, on many statistics produced from Europe, and it's based also on the decisions of countries and nations in Europe on the back of their own experiences of fluoridization of the water. And what I'm worried about is this, that whereas it may have been significant and important because of the decay and the cavities in teeth in the 1960s, uh, to introduce this, that the harmful effects of fluoride at that time were not known. The beneficial effects are not, I don't think, in dispute, but the harmful effects were not known. And there is increasingly a case being made for reducing it and eliminating it. And I'd, I'd like to say to the Minister this, and it's, I suppose, strange coming from me to the Minister this way round as, as things happen when people move into government, people move into the op opposition. There are people making a lot of money out of putting fluoride into water. There's obviously a strong lobby group in favor of putting fluoride into water. And you have to be aware that those forces are also moving, just like the tobacco industry, which is a big and strong lobby. The chemical industry is a big and strong lobby. And it is in the interests of the chemical industry to keep putting fluoride in the water. And that neither the tobacco industry nor the chemical industry really are particularly sensitive to the health of people. Indeed, they're damaging. 